Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I want to talk about this very interesting thing called dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, which is a hormone-like communication or message that travels through the nervous system versus hormones are communications that travel through the blood. And um, this neurotransmitter has the effect of giving you pleasure. Okay, so it's a pleasure neurotransmitter. It does other things that are involved with reward and even motion. So if you have a problem with dopamine deficiencies, you might have resting tremors and Parkinson's, which is a different thing. But it's mainly pleasure. It's a feel-good hormone. It also gives you that vitality. So if you could imagine, not that you ever took cocaine, but the sensation of taking cocaine, what you would feel like, this heightened pleasure, you know, ability of the conquer everything, it's only because Cocaine and other drugs stimulate dopamine. So the actual physical feeling that you have is coming from dopamine, not really the drug. The drug is only the trigger that creates more dopamine in the body. So my thought is, why can't we just increase, make sure this is high naturally, right? So if you're deficient in dopamine, you lack motivation, you lack that drive, uh, you become fatigued, you kind of lose your goals, um, addictions, very addictive personality, mood issues, anxiety, depression, resting tremor, things like that. So you can see that this is a very uh, popular neurotransmitter that people are trying to increase by doing a lot of things, especially you know drugs. Um, the causes of a dopamine deficiency would be excessive caffeine can deplete it but if you it's interesting because caffeine will initially make you feel good but if you take too much over time it kind of decreases the dopamine uh, effect alcohol will decrease dopamine certain drugs cocaine all those type of drugs and even a lot of the psych drugs prozac paxil wellbutrin all of those do increase dopamine so over time it depletes dopamine so it's a trick it's, it's you bring it up and it's bring it down. Same thing with like drugs. If you're addicted to drugs, um, you're going to deplete your dopamine reserves and it's, you're going to cause the necessity to take more and more and more drug over time. Um, insulin, sugar will deplete dopamine. Stress will deplete dopamine. Uh, cortisol from the adrenals will deplete dopamine. Low stomach acids, if you don't have enough uh, stomach acid, you can't digest protein in general. So you start developing a problem with making neurotransmitters in general. So you'll be deficient in a lot of different transmitters, neurotransmitters. So the point is, how do you know if you're deficient in stomach acid? Well, number one, do you have heartburn? Do you have acid reflux? Do you get indigestion? That would mean that you're probably deficient in stomach acid. As you age, you need more stomach acid. So just by adding more apple cider vinegar or betaine hydrochloride, you can increase your neurotransmitter uh, reserve. Okay, then we have adrenal stress. The adrenal gland, the inside of the adrenal gland, makes dopamine. So if your adrenals are burnt out or exhausted, you're not going to make the level of dopamine. So chronic stress, you know, all these things deplete your neurotransmitters. Not just dopamine deficiencies, but all the neurotransmitter deficiencies. So here's some things that you can do. Of course, don't consume as much caffeine or alcohol. Just get off the drugs, get off the sugar, cut the stress down, increase the acid, improve the adrenal. But also, here's nu nutrient-wise, you can take tyrosine. That's a natural amino acid that has a precursor to dopamine. You can take L-theanine, which is a precursor to dopamine. It can help build it up. Um, it's a natural amino acid. Vitamin D, getting a lot of sun will help recharge and build up dopamine reserves. Vitamin B6 and B5 are two other additional B vitamins that are necessary in making this neurotransmitter. Um, of course, in a lot of the other videos I talk about, you know, all these things will deplete these vitamins too. So uh, you may not need these if you stop taking these right here. Okay? Exercise will also increase dopamine. So as you can see, there are things that you can do about this. So I just want to bring your awareness up that um, there is a hormone behind this. And if you have any of these symptoms, you might want to do some of these actions, okay? Thanks for watching.